Hi everybody, um, this is our final shower haul video. I told you guys it was coming up this weekend. Um, okay, so shower haul video. We're going to break it into um, groups of things because uh, like I said before in our last video, this was a huge shower and there was tons of stuff. Literally we opened presents for like two hours. Like, it was crazy. Um, which we knew it was going to be a big shower. But anyway, so just to kind of streamline things a little bit, I'm going to do more of a wiping across the screen. So not like a wiping. What is it called? Spread? I don't know. Either way, it's all laid out on the bed. Kind of go through briefly and let you see everything that we got. Um, we also did get our stroller, which I'm really excited about. And the other thing I'm super excited about is this giant bow. Just makes me happy. <laughs> Pulls my hair a little bit though, but I was going to stick it on my forehead, but then you couldn't see my face, so that didn't really work out. So, anyway, now with my giant bow, I will show you what all we got as far as health care. Starting over here, um, we have some more uh, washcloths, passy things, wash stuff, uh, like body wash and lotions. Uh, we did get these really cute Mickey Mouse spoons from my cousin that she said that her son kept trying to convince her that they were for him and not for us. Uh, color changing heat spoons, which was good because I didn't have any of that stuff. We got a stain remover, washing detergent, another set of Nana Nubs, uh, a different kind of bottle brush, which I'm interested to see if this one works as good or better than the other one that we got. Um, some pacifiers, sorry I'm in the light, travel kits, uh, some bowls, that these are the ones that are, I guess, are designed to where you can't dump things out of them, but they can stick their hands in the, without, I get stuck, anyway, whatever. Uh, healthcare kit, um, this is diaper rash from Young Living, which I didn't actually know Young Living made diaper rash, so that's cool. Diaper pins, outlet covers. This is that Boone Grass uh, drying rack. Um, it's got the little stuff that stands up so that you can kind of stick your stuff down in there. Little Remedies New Baby. Um, this has everything from a saline spray and fever reducer to butt paste and a nasal aspirator. Um, it also has some gripe water, which I've heard is really, really great for gas and things like that. Another bathroom set. This is all baby organics that I got from another cousin. Um, it's supposed to be all organic, everything, but it's body wash, lotion, bug repellent, hand sanitizer, bubble bath, and then she also gave me some uh, lavender oils and the Thieves uh, hand uh, sanitizer and some butt paste and then these Young Living, Young Living baby wipes, which again, didn't know Young Living made that stuff, but it all came in this really cute 31 bag that is going to be great for my diaper changing station. Um, and then we also got another laundry basket because we have another really, really awesome person that shops for us. And she's actually bought all of my uh, laundry bags that I own currently. She gave us one for our wedding, which is my little, um, this one here that has laundry in it that I need to fold. But And then this one she gave us for the girl's shower. So she said she just likes to buy the basket, fill up the basket, and then it's all done. We also got a bouncer and a this thing. What is this? A swing. I couldn't remember. Um... So we got that, and then this is that twinsie pillow that my cousin had um, that she gave us. Uh, she made a cover for it. It's a Hello Kitty cover. So, and I have it kind of, anyway, it's buckled down here so it's easier to carry around. But this is that twinsie pillow. Um, it's super awesome. Hold on, I'm struggling. Two seconds, please. Ow. Okay, now we are in the business. So the way that it works is you have, the pillow can sit like this, opened up. And then so, baby here, baby here, when they're just kind of propped up, you can feed them like that. Or if you're breastfeeding, that's when you take these buckle straps and hook them back together, which I can't do one-handed. And then this part will lean up in the middle to give me back support, and then the sides wrap around. And then so you'll lay a baby here and here so that you can nurse with them. So that's a super awesome thing. It is quite massive, though, if you can notice. Sorry, camera angles are weird today. Alright, so I'm going to put all this stuff up and go get the next round of things. Round two. Okay, so this round I'm doing um, blankets, bibs, things like that. Things that have to be washed that are not clothes. Um, well, not necessarily washed because some of the toys and some toys in there too. So, starting over here on this side, these were the car seat covers that we got. Um, they're the same thing, that's why I left one in the box, but this is it. It goes over the cover and it's reversible. So one side is these pretty flowers and the other side is this really cute little like triangle pattern. I'm not really sure, but I picked these because 
they have the uh, the window over them you can see right there that's this part and this opens up so that you can see into the baby and I was told um, that these are really really great especially during like sick season because then when people want to see your baby that you can just open that up and let them look with their eyes and they were not tempted to put their face in there with your kid if they've been sick or breathing or you know just especially with newborns um, then moving on we got some rattles which these are fun little things uh, some keys which every baby needs some keys this is a little musical car just makes some little noise it's cute um, photo book which they can put whatever in here we got two of those the other ones underneath there um, these two little zebras came from a lady that I work with and they are like sinfully soft they're from baby gunned which I've never heard of which I you know new to parenting so anyway but their um, their little strap on their head is like a satin finish and they're so ridiculously soft it's painful um, then they also each girl got a book bag a little Tsum Tsum book bag to keep all their stuff in when they get a little bit bigger which was really cool nobody had nobody else had thought about that I hadn't even thought about that um, we got two more little loveys we got little bear loveys they're super soft um, this is that kind of like a Moby wrap um, it's a big long thing it's from this one's particular one is from Cuddlebug um, but it's just a wrap so you can wear your baby um, then we got head uh, we have a glare that's what we have uh, head bows milestone headband sets got two of those um, sleep sacks well these are the gowns so they're not closed at the bottom um, anyway but those and then these sleep sacks Zach and Zoe brand it's got a little sheep on it it's kind of hard to tell uh, anyway a little sheep on it we have six sets of hangers which I didn't get them all out because that's just redundant um, this is a nursing cover with the um, the plastic neck to help keep it open so that you can watch as you're feeding um, a diaper pail liner like a wet bag um, bibs 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 galore sorry I'm trying to stuff sliding plain white bibs we got a whole set of those these um, uh, teething bibs they have the little hard spot on the end for them to chew on more baby chew toys uh, these are um, absorbent for when they're teething. They're kind of fleecy on the back and cotton on the front. So there was two packs of those. And honestly, I'm surprised nobody bought these sooner because people know my love of Disney is just sad. Um, anyway, so princess bibs, two packs of those, and then this one with a little elephant theme on it. So those are our bibs, and I'm sorry I'm not showing you every single little thing, but I'm, there's a lot, and I don't want this video to be like an hour long. Um, burp cloths, reusable wipes, these are some more receiving blankets. These are all hooded towels. We've got ladybugs and a gray with the pink hearts. Um, this one's got polka dots and a cute little teddy bear. And then we got two sets of these flamingos that my mom has already claimed. Um, she loves flamingos, so she's like, those are going to stay at Grandma's house, which is fine with me because I have a lot here. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you on this particular round, oh, second to last thing, these closet organizers, which is good because I was going to buy some of those. Um, we have several ladies at our church, at my mom's church, that um, made blankets for the girls. And uh, Miss Jean made these little alphabet blankets, um, and they're the same. There's two of them exactly the same, and then she put a little tag here with her name and all that stuff. Um, and then another lady, which... She's new to the church, and I don't personally know her, um, but my mom knows her. Anyway, but uh, she wrote, signed her name here, and then she made the girls tic-tac-toe blankets. And there's one in green and one in blue. So, And they are absolutely gorgeous. And we have some other homemade blankets in that bottom of those shelves down there that I've showed you guys before. And I'm glad that we have these. Like, you can never have enough blankets, in my personal opinion. But these are a thinner, like good for summer, whereas those are really thick and going to be nice and warm. So, we also got these blankets. Um, this one is just pink with butterflies on it. And then these two are the same blanket, they're just reversible. So one of them is this, uh, that minky with the satin ribbon part. And I don't know what this is called. I have something in my head called Suckerfish, but I don't think that's it. It's some kind of... 
I don't know, people make suits and stuff out of it. Like, it's a fancy fabric that people are liking right now. I just can't remember what it's called, so I'm going to call it Suckerfish. So, I'm sure that somebody watching goes, No, Katie, that's not at all what that's called, you ding-dong. But that's okay. I don't need to know. <clears throat> it's a blanket, and it's super, super soft, and I like it. So, <clears throat> that is round two of our shower haul. Round three. Okay, this round is going to be the clothes that we got, which doesn't look like a whole lot, but these are in stacks. So, starting over here, um, just some plain white onesies. We've got some long sleeves and some short sleeves in zero to three months. Um, got some zero to three months pants here and here. Um, these are just three purples, and I kind of have them layered so you can see the colors. Uh, baby socks, baby socks. This has a little bunny rabbit on it. Polka dot set. Um, these two are the same. They've got flowers. And then just more baby socks. These are uh, Easter socks. So they have each, there's two sets. And they come with a headband and two pair of socks. It's kind of washed out, aren't they? Um, more socks with bows. Little pink socks with like ballerina looking things. Hey, foam. Owl socks. Mittens. These have little elephants and little, oh, those are elephants. I'm oh, sorry. I thought they were um, fish. Uh, and then another little pink set of mittens. These are all the headbands. This goes with an outfit that I'll show you in just a second. Um, then we have two little black bows, two pink headbands, which are wrapped up together. These go with an outfit. It's a little Winnie the Pooh outfit that I will also show you in a second. Um, and then little hats, pink hats with flowers and stripes and just curly patterns on them. Okay, so starting on the outfits. This is the zero to three month stack. Sorry, my, bow, my bow's in the way and I stuttered. Um, it says, all I need is love, and it's this shirt with these shorts. So, that's that little outfit. And then we have um, another one of these, which is good because I had three of the other size, so I was short one. Anyway, um, and then we have some butterflies. Same size. Okay, this is that Winnie the Pooh outfit. You see the pants that match the hat from over here. Um, and then this is the shirt that goes with it. Super, super cute. We have two sets of those. We have two sets of these. It says Little Miss Cutie. This is just a long sleeve shirt. Um, and then a pair of pants to go with it. And then also has this pretty garden jacket. And then this onesie sleep thing. And that was like a set. So there's two sets of those. Alright, so we also have this All I Need Is Love outfit in a three to six month size. Same outfit, just a little bit bigger. Um, so that one was zero to three. This one is three to six. Guess how many times I'm going to mess that up. Um, this is another little outfit that it's a onesie with the little ruffle sleeves on it. Came with these pants. These are amazingly hilarious. I love these. They're so funny. It's a onesie and the little legs come out down here. So it's like a little pants suit. Um, but it's frilly like and stretchy. The whole thing is stretchy. But it's got a big bow and then the arms straps there. So we got two of those. I have people that are waiting to see them in that. Um, and then these little rubber duckies, which these were my sister's favorite. She had a fit over those. So that's the three to six month pile. Let me get all that out of the way. This is just a three month. It's not a range. It's just a three month little romper. There's two of those. Okay, this is the nine month pile. This I absolutely adore. So nine months will put them right about Christmas time. So we'll probably do their first Christmas pictures in this unless they have for some reason are way bigger than <laughs> that when they're supposed to be. So we have two of those dresses that match. This is the outfit that went with the little headbands. It's just the, the shirt with the daisies on it. And then the pants have a little bow on them. And there's two sets of those. And then we have this Minnie Mouse onesie. It says, happy, happy, happy. There's two of those. That's our nine-month pile. We have a 12-month onesie that has Winnie the Pooh on it. I haven't taken the stickers off yet, but anyway, just, there's two of those with kind of like a flared up sleeve on the top. These are newborn sleep onesies. Um, there's, it's got that same little, little girl on it. And then this little, anyway, so there's two sets of those. And then that is, this is the six to nine months. So we have these pants with a, like a little tutu attached to it. it. Goes with this, it says born to sparkle. And then there's a little set of onesies, this little elephants polka dots, polka dots, and little flowers. So, that did not take nearly as long as I expected it to. Um, I forgot that was up there. 
Stuff's washing now. Um, Justin will be back from drill just any old time. Um, yeah, and I'm going to continue washing baby clothes. Um, so, two videos up this weekend. Um, I am on leave now, like I said in our last video, so I will have be having more time to kind of get some things together. That's our shower haul for this time. This is the last shower haul video we'll have, so if you're bored to tears with these, I'm terribly sorry. But, um, word to the wise, if you are buying for someone that has a shower coming up or anything like that, that... I mean, I know and I understand and I love you for it. The newborn clothes are freakishly cute and they're so tiny and you can't help but to buy them. But, like, buy some of the bigger stuff too. Because, like, I mean, I'm not complaining at all about what we got. We have a lot of clothes for our girls and I am thankful for every single stitch of clothing that they now own. Because that's stuff that I didn't have to buy with my own money. But kids grow very, very quickly. So consider that if you're shopping for someone um, that's going to have a baby soon, just, you know, keep in mind that. Yes, technically they are going to be infants for a very little while, but very, very quickly they are going to have different needs than just a baby that can't roll over or is just starting to roll over because once they start rolling and crawling, they're walking and running out the door. So just keep that in mind if you're shopping. Um, it's not, <laughs> I promise, no mom's going to be upset at getting some of the bigger clothes too. Like, I got super excited when I got some 12-month and 10 and 9-month stuff. I was like, yes! because they do eventually grow. So just keep that in mind if you're shopping for somebody. And um, click like and subscribe. Like I said in that last video, we're probably within a couple weeks of seeing our girls. It's pouring outside. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it just like... And uh, we will keep you updated with what's going on as we go through it. So with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!